Hi guys, Nancy here from Loombicious. Today we will be making the Uni Pega Cornessus. This is a hybrid um, between a, a unicorn and Pegasus. I um, believe you all like her. So I'm doing a tutorial for her now. You can either create a horse, uh, a unicorn or Pegasus if you want to. So you can leave the wings, uh, leave the horn and you will have a regular horse. Obviously you won't make the stomach gold like that of course. But, but you can pick uh, your own color a variation. I used white and uh, glitter, glitter white. So kind of hard to see sparkles a lot when standing in the sun so we will be doing her um, my designs are partially based on techniques Courtney Cole uses so um, make sure you check her channel how to loom your dragon and I will show you how to make the uni pega cornessus and I hope you enjoy this tutorial we're going to start with the wings, so I'll put her aside. I will do both wings with you guys, because sometimes it's quite hard to understand how to mirror a wing. So I will do the left and the right wing with you guys. Um, I will be using white. Uh, and, um, well, only uh, the white, yeah, normal white and the glitter white. But I, I tell you when I will be doing what. Um, first we're going to start uh, to create some feathers for the wing. Uh, we will be using two bands, two white bands at a time now. Um, well, I'll show you guys. Put two there. And to there. Now take your glitter white. I will be turning my loom for this. This is a glitter white. Double loop it. And take another glitter white. And double loop that. This is uh, the smallest feather we need. Now take another glitter white. And cap off by wrapping this band around four times. Three, four, and we have to loom this. This is one of the smallest feathers. Be careful with the glitter bands, they might snap more easily. I take this off. <coughs> uh, let me see, you need about Eight of those small feathers. Let me see. Yes. Store them on, on a hook or toothpick. So make eight of those small feathers. You will need four of them for each wing. Yeah? So make eight of those. Now we will be doing the medium feathers. Um, yeah. Place two white bands there. Now two more. Obviously, you can do this in any color you want. Two more white. And two more white. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four times two white. Then you take your glitter and double loop a band double loop another and one more and also kept this off by wrapping around a single glitter band four times one two three four loom this one you will have to make eight of those 
medium fitters. Simply loom up and create eight of those. Also take this all very carefully. Um, let me see, yes. Store them on a hook or toothpick. Well, you will be needing four for each wing. Now we will make the large feathers. So take two white bands, put them there. Two more. Two more. And two more. Two again. Two more. Now I have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six times. Two white bands. Now take your glitter or any other color. You want the tip of the feather to be, double loop it. One more, also double looped. And another one double looped. And cap off again with a single glitter by wrapping it around four times. You will have to make six of those. Simply loom up and get this one of your loom. Also store this on a, a hook or toothpick. Oh, I will turn them so they will face the same direction like this so make six of those three for each wing now we will be making even larger feathers so take two white bands take two more two more two again All two bands. I believe we have to do this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times two white bands on your loom. Now take a glitter band, double loop it. And again, double loop another, and then another one, and cap off with a single glitter band by wrapping it around four times. One, two, three, four. Also loom this one, and you will also need six of those, so make six extra large feathers. We will be needing three for each wing. Store that on a hook or toothpick like this. So create six of those. And yes, if you use glitter, your hands will be sparkly all night. So I will wash, wash my hands after I'm finished with this project. <laughs> well, wow. Um, let's see, we will be making the wing now. And I will do the left and the right wing with you guys. Two bands at a time. 
because it's kind of hard to mirror. And there might be people who don't understand how to mirror a wing and with this wing it's quite important to do mirror it. Otherwise it will look really weird. So two bands there, two more. These are white bands or any color you want them to be. Two more, two bands all the time. Unless I say something different. So to place two bands all the time. Step there. Now place two bands diagonally going down. That one is stretched out. Place them diagonally down this way. Now continue with the middle row, place two bands. All white bands, all two at a time. Now I do have to look at my design. Yeah, one once more, place two bands there. Now we will be placing two like this. Now we continue with the last row, two bands. Two there. Two more. Now we need to take two more bands and go up like this. Now we, we will be placing the horizontal bands. Take a double looped white band, place that there. Now take two bands at a time. Stretch. Oh, let me see. No. Wait, 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 wait. Um, take two bends at a time, make a triangle like this. You might need to push down some bends there, but take two more. Take two more. Simply create the horizontal bands, all the triangles with two white bands, and I believe once more. Um, yeah, once more. Now take a double looped white band, place that there. That's about it for the wing. Now we uh, will be attaching the feathers. Take the largest feathers. They slightly curve. Well, you can also make them curve, but they do curve when you pull them off your loom. They will have to be placed curved up. So you place them on to your loom like this. So they're curving upwards. I will be turning my loom for this. Attach one of the largest feathers, well, the extra large feathers, onto this pack. Curved up. I take the second largest feather, place that there onto this pack if it wants to. Yeah. <coughs> I take the 
third large largest feather place it onto this corner simply wrap it around the peg like this these wings are slightly different from my prototype but that's okay um now take your well those were the extra large feathers so now you will be taking the large feathers also place them curved up onto the next peg take the second one place that onto this peg take the third Place that around that peg like this. Now take your medium feathers. You should have four of those for each wing. Also place them curved up. You might need to push down those bends a bit. Place one there. Another one, place that there, and another here, and the fourth one, place that onto that peg. Now we will be placing the smallest feathers. You also should have four of those for each wing. So get them. No, they don't actually curve, so it doesn't matter how you place those. Um, simply put them around the pegs. Um, let me see you which one I draw. Place one on this peg. Take a second smallest feather, place that, skip one peg and place one again, there, take the third, oh gosh, my hands are all sparkly, <laughs> skip one peg and also place that smallest feather onto the middle of your loom. And I believe, yeah, one more. And then we have two left there. Is that correct? Yes. So skip one peg, place it there. And now we can loom our wing. Yeah. So we start at the top to so go behind the feather. Can you guys see this? Yes, you can. And loom over the first two white bands. Now grab those two bands and loom those across first. Try to do this so they aren't twisted. Will look, will look better. And we can loom at this row first if you want to make sure you go behind can you guys see this behind your horizontal bands so you don't loom those and you can loom this entire row up to the top Like that. Now go back. Go behind those bands you loomed across and your feather. 
take the bottom two white bands, loom those. Now go behind your double looped horizontal band, take the first two white bands and loom over, across, like this. Also try to do this so they aren't twisted too bad. Um, yeah, let's do the bottom row first before we continue in the middle. So go down past the feather and grab the bottom two white bands, loom over. I'll do this with the entire row. Just make sure you got only have the bottom two white bands. This can be hard, so take your time. You don't have to do this quickly. If you do this too quickly, your wing will be, well, won't be neat. And I want my wing to look cool. So take your time while doing this. And push down if you have to. Now go down and grab those two. No, that's one. I will turn my loom for this, otherwise I can see. Yeah, got them both now. Loom those diagonally. And now you can loom up the row in the middle, all the way to the top of your loom. Just grab the two white bands at the bottom. and go behind those tiny feathers and behind the horizontal bands. If you do that, it will look okay. It will look fine that way. It's hard for me to see that those last ones. Yeah, I believe that's it. And loom the final two white bands over. Tie off both of these two bands. Simply make a slip knot. You will need to attach this to the body later. Carefully take off your wing of the loom. Make sure those tiny feathers don't get caught in between. Well, you can actually pull them out uh, later if you want to, but just make sure they don't get caught into all of those bands. I will be doing the other wing with you guys. You need to mirror that. If you can do that yourself. You, this will be easy. But oh, I will show you guys how to do that. Because I still believe it's difficult to do so. This will be one wing. all sparkles and a lot of feathers well you can adjust this you can even wire them if you want to but this will be one wing and now we will be making uh, the second wing it's a bit smaller than on my prototype so let's make the other wing we will be mirroring that right now so take two 
white bands at a time. Instead of starting at the top, we will start at the bottom now. Yeah? So follow me, two bands at a time. Oh, those are three. You have to do the same exact thing as we did with the other wing, of course. So, um, yeah, place two there. Now we have to place two down, uh, up diagonally. Now we have to place them up instead of down. Place them there. Now we can continue the middle row. Place two bends all the time. These are wise. Wise. White bands. I take two bands and place them like this. I continue the row on the top. Place two bands all the time. Oh, place two bends up. You were already there, if I'm correct. Yes, that's it. <clears throat> now we will be placing our horizontal bends. So place two of them there. Simply make triangles. with two white bands at a time. Now take a double looped white band, place that here, and take another double looped white band place them, I'll place that there, yeah, yes, that's supposed to be like that, now take your extra large feathers, so the biggest feather you have, I will be turning my loom again for this, touch that here, Take another huge feather, place that onto this bag. Take your last huge feather, touch it onto this corner. Now you are able to see we are mirroring the wing flipped some in some sort of way but well, anyway take your uh, large feathers now place one here take another one I'll place also place these curved up but I guess you already 
understand that. It's exactly the same thing as the other wing. Now take the last large feather. Like that. Now take your medium feathers. You should have four of them and you should have four pegs left at the bottom. So place one there. And another one. Oh gosh. Get back. Can happen. Another one. And your final medium feather. Place that there. Now take your smallest feathers. Let me see. I have to place them correctly. Um, there we have the big feather. I need to skip one. Yeah. Place one here. They don't actually curve. Yeah, they curve up now because there's a peg there, but skip one. Place it. Oh, I'm missing one band there. Make sure you place all four of those loops around the peg. Take the third smallest feather, skip one and attach it onto the next peg. And also with the final one. <clears throat> skip one and attach it there next to the double loops. Yeah. So now we can also loom this wing. So turn your loom. Start here at the top, go behind your feather and loom over those two white bands. Make sure they aren't twisted too bad. Mine are. Wow. How is that possible? Mine are completely twisted. How do I have to do? Now go take the first two white bands you come across and loom those over that way. Now you can loom up the entire row here. Simply loom up to the top. Make sure you go behind your horizontal bands and don't loom those. Just like this. Go back to the bottom. Go behind all of those bands and only grab the bottom two. You might need to turn your loom for this or not. Now go behind that double looped horizontal band. Take the top two white bands and loom those across. Now we will be doing the bottom row. Make sure you go behind the feathers. I'm not behind my bands here. Still not. Wow. I might need new glasses or something. Yeah, got them. 
lindos. Make sure you go behind all those bends. And don't push down those feathers if you need to. I've got one here. Yes, loom those. I'll simply loom up the entire bottom row. Loom up. Grab only the bottom two white bands. Like that, and so I'll loom go behind the feather bands. And loom over diagonally. Now we can continue up the middle row. Also make sure you only grip the bottom two white bands here. those last two white bands. Also tie off both of these ends. Make a slip knot. Use any color you want except white, otherwise you can see what bands you need to remove later quite well. So take off the wing, the second wing. It should be mirrored. No, it is mirrored. Don't worry. I hope you guys understand better now what mirroring means. You can also try to do is this with a mirror next to you. But it was also hard for me. When I'm looming myself, I'm using two looms and put them next to each other and already mirroring that. So I can put them on my loom exactly the same way, but one to the left and one to the right. So I like to do it that way. Unless it's drawn on paper, then it's easy to follow. So take this one off. Pull out those tiny feathers a bit, not too hard. So this will be your second wing. And now you have your wings mirrored like this. Yeah? So put them aside. I will be doing the legs now. Why? Because I want to. After that, we will be doing the head. So... Take your white bands again, two bands at a time. These will be the back legs. Place two bands at a time here. I need a sip of my water. <clears throat> Wonderful. So, two bands at a time here. Yeah, two more in the middle. <clears throat> Place two bands diagonally. Okay. 
and two there, two there, place two bands diagonally like that. Take two white bands, place them there. Take two more white bands, place them there. Now take a white, a glitter white, and another white band. So you have three bands. Place them here. Obviously you can do this with any color you want, but those are three bands. Now we will be making the hooves. I will be turning my loom for this. Take a single band of um, any color you desire for the hooves. These are golden. But I will be making uh, white glitter hooves now. So take a single band and double loop it. And cap off with a single hoof color band by wrapping it around four times. One, two, three, four. Do that again. So take a single glitter and double loop it. And cap off one, two, three, four. I'm already by four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. But loom those. These will be the hooves. Like I did with my cow and my goat and my donkey. It's all the same. We will be creating these hooves all the same. Just like that. So loom over those. Get both of those hooves onto your hook. Do you see my hands sparkling? Oh gosh. Well, doesn't matter. I can wash my hands afterwards. We we'll have them both onto your hook. Um, let me think. Did I do it with a white band? I will have to check here. Yeah, I did. Take a um, single white band, double loop that band onto your hook, get your finger in between, pull over the hooves onto the double loop band, now grab a small toothpick or anything you can stick. Ooh. I only need one. Stick that there, so it won't come off. I do believe you can uh, make it secure. Now take two white bands. Get them onto your hook and wrap them around two times. One, two, like that. Try to do this as neat as you possibly can. Now reclaim that double loop bend onto your hook and this will be one hoof. Um, now take two white bands again and we need to pull over all of these bands onto those two white bands. Take your time, don't rush yourself I need to get all of those bands onto those two bands. You need to make this look neat because this will be the hoof of your horse. Uh, well, horse, yeah, can be your uni pega cornesis. You, yeah, I'm saying that right. But get it onto your hook. Well, I don't mind, it's not even, so. Try to make it look neat, okay? It's hard to do that later. Like this, and attach the hoof onto the bottom peg. It doesn't matter which way your hoof faces, as long as you attach it. At the bottom, you can easily flip it the other way. So it really doesn't matter which way your hoop is facing. 
you can also make it flip that way. So it doesn't matter. Now oh, I'm forgetting the horizontal bends. <coughs> Sorry. Take two bends, place them there, and take a double looped white bend. Place that there. Otherwise it will fall apart and it will be a waste. So loom up those three bends there. Loom further. Obviously you have to make a second back leg exactly the same way you don't have to mirror that back leg because we can simply flip it. So you have to make a second one exactly the same. Just follow me while looming. Just grab the top two white bands you come across and then grab the next and loom. Like this, tie off those three ends and make a second back leg. get this leg of the loom like this this will be the back leg um Make a second one and see you can make them the same. Make it the same. You can simply flip it. It will be the other leg. Yeah? So make a second back leg. Now we will be doing the front leg. So take two white bands, place them not twisted, place them there. Two more. So in the middle. Two bends all the time. Now place two bands diagonally. Two bands, two white bands. Two more white bands. Now take two white bands and a glitter or any band of your color or just take three whites. That doesn't matter. So you should have three bands. Place them there. And we need to create the hoofs again exactly the same way. So take a glitter band or any other color you want your hoofs to be. Double loop it. Do another one there, double loop it. Skip one pack though. Now take a single hoof color band, wrap it around four times. One, two, three, four. Do that a second time with the other hoof part. One, two, three, four. And loom those. them onto your hook, hook, both of them. We will be doing exactly the same thing as with the back legs. Try to make this look neat. So they're almost even. Take a double looped white band, pull those hooves onto it. I take your toothpick or something to stick in between so it won't come off that double looped white band. Now take two <laughs> take two bands two white bands get them around your hook and wrap them around two times. One 
two. And like this. Also make this look kind of neat. Now take two more white bands and do exactly the same thing. The same thing as we did with the back leg. We need to pull all of those bands onto those two bands. Take your time for this. This can be tricky. Or not. If you're looming a lot, you know what to do. Make this look neat, as neat as you possibly can. Make those two bands stick out even on both sides. you hook through all four loops <coughs> and attach that on the, to the bottom of your leg like this now do the horizontal bands so take a single white band double loop it place it there take another white band double loop it and place it here now we can loom the front leg Go behind the hooves, get those three bands and loom over. And simply loom up. First get the diagonally bands, loom those. And continue looming up. And loom up those. Well, like that, tie off those ends and make a second front leg. Exactly the same, don't mirror it. You can do it, but you don't have to. It will turn out the same way. So, I will leave that up to you. This will be one front leg. So make a um, second one, so you should have two front legs, two back legs and your wings now. So we will we will be doing the head now. Um, we have to change our loom for this. So get the middle peg and place it up. So it's in offset. Like this. Make sure your loom look looks like this now. <coughs> I'm sorry. Take a. Um, I will be turning my loom for this because these are all double loop bands, and I don't want them to twist as bad. So place a double looped white band there. And place a double looped white band here. Let me see. Did I do the eyes onto this? Yeah, I did. So, they need to be underneath. Yeah. Sorry, I was discussing with myself again. Um. Yeah, we will be making the eye now, because we have to place it on the side of the head. We have to place it onto a double loop white band in between these pegs. So take your eye color. I will be using pink. Wrap your eye color band around two times. Take a black band or if you want to use another color, another color. Wrap this around four times. Then get your eye color band again and wrap it around two times. Try to make this look kind of neat. I will remove my loom now. This looks like a candy now. Hmm. Well, take a double looped white band, get that onto your hook, 
pull over all of these bands onto that double looped white band. Like this. Try to make this look as neat as you possibly can. It's possible to adjust it later, but it's... Well, if you can do it now, why not? Hmm? Mine looks totally... Oh, I'm not pleased with it, but it will have to. I'll place it onto that peg I showed you guys before. And the eye will have to face uh, to the side. So you might need to turn it a bit so it's facing the right direction. The cross and will be the back of the eye. So it will have to face to the middle row. Try to make this look as neat as you possibly can. Kind of hard to. Sometimes the bends just don't want to, like mine now, they really just don't want to look okay. Please. Well, I will be having a uni Pega Cornessus with a bad eye, I believe. Hope your eye turned out better than mine did. Anyway, we will um, continue. <coughs> so it sh should look like this now. Your eye and the good part of the eye is facing that direction to the right. Um, yeah. Double loop white bands onto the side. Another double loop white bands. And now we have to make the second eye. So take your eye color band, wrap it around your hook two times. Take a black band, wrap it around your hook four times. Get your eye color band again, wrap it around two times. Like this. Try to make this look neat. As neat as you possibly can. Or take a double looped white band, pull your eye bands onto that double loop band. Easy, hmm? No, it's not easy. Place those on the opposite side where you place the other eye. But you guess you guys could have guessed where to place it. And also make the bed part of the eye face to the middle row of your loom. The good part of part of your eye face that outside. Also, this eye looks hideous. I'm having a bad loom day. Oh gosh, I really don't like the way this eye is. This looks like nothing. I will do this again. I'm sorry. I hope your eye turned out better, but I don't like my eye. I don't... I want my eye to be okay. Please bear with me. I will try this again. If it doesn't work now, well, then I guess I will have to leave it. But I want a better eye. She will have to look cool.
that looks better. Now take your glitter bands, double loop, I will turn my loom again. You don't have to do this, but I will create a stripe on my head. So I will be using glitter in the middle, double loop those bands. Double loop one more. Double loop one more. So you have four double looped stripe color bands in the middle. Mm, now take a white band, double loop it diagonally. And take an another loop it there. I also double looped. Now cap off the bottom with a glitter band by wrapping it around four times. One, two, three, four. Um, we need to place the horizontal bands now, so take a double looped white band. Place it there. Take another double looped white band, place it here. And a other double loop white band, place it there. Now we will be making the ears. I didn't forget, but... Well, we will be making the ears now. Obviously you have to make two of them. The ears will be completely double looped with white bands. So take a single white band, double loop it somewhere on your loom. It won't be big. Double loop another white band. Now we uh, need to double loop another. Double loop it that way. And double loop another one this way. This will be the ear. It's quite tiny. Cap off the top mm, by wrapping around. Let me count. One, two, three, four. Wrapping it around five times. One, two, three, four. And five. So just use a single white band and wrap it around that pack five times. Now go behind that cap band. Grab the first double looped band and loom over. Ah, no, don't get those yet. No, first loom these diagonally. Yeah, like that. And now get the last double looped bands like this. This will be the ear. It's quite tiny. Take it off your loom carefully. This will be the ear. So make a second ear. I already did. We also will be making the nostril soon. So make a second ear now. I will also do the nostril. Nu. Uh, now. That was Dutch for now. Um, double loop a white band. Now, if you want your nostril to be... Um, well, I want it to be glittery. I don't know why, but I like that. So I take one glitter band. And wrap that around five times, I believe. Oh, we don't need the nostrils right now. Hmm. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter. Make them. You will need them anyway. So this will be one nostril. Wrap around a glitter band five times. One, two, three, four, five. We don't need them just now. But it doesn't matter. You need them anyway. So... Create them now. And simply loom that double white band. 
take this off carefully. This will be one nostril. Obviously, you will have to make a second one if you want to. Also store this on a toothpick or a hook or something else you use to store your body parts on. Your loomed body parts. Mm, put it aside. Um, we will be needing the ears soon though, but um, yeah, I'm forgetting one thing, the horn. I also will, will make my horn with glitter instead of gold because I did the hooves with glitter. And I want that to be the same. So take a single glitter band or the color you want your horn to be and double loop it. Take a second, double loop it. Take a third, double loop it. And take a fourth, double loop it. Cap off with a single glitter band by wrapping it around the peg five times. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. This will be the horn. Obviously, you can make this as long as you want it to be, or even uh, one bend shorter if you want to. So you can adjust it in the, the length you want it to be. I'll loom up. Do this carefully though. These glitter bands can snap quite easily. Take this off your loom carefully. You can actually leave it there. We can take it off when we need it. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, let's continue. Mm. Yeah, the horn and the ears are all we need. Go behind the cap band. Grab the first double looped white bands. Mine doesn't want to, yeah. Get the first double looped white bands. And loom those over. Also do this on the opposite side. Go behind the cap end again. And loom over. We can do the middle. Also do this carefully because these are glitter bands unless you're using some other color. <clears throat> um, let me see, I did this on another place on my prototype, but one on the second. I'll loom over the second in the middle. Now grab your horn. It does slightly curve, but well, you, you can adjust it. But I have it on my hook like this. So it's curving in that direction. I'm turning my loom. My hook is still in the same position. I'm taking off those double loop bands we just loomed and we're going to slide over the horn onto those bands. Try to place this as neat as you possibly can and replace those double loop bands. So the horn is attached now. Now we can loom up the middle row all to the top of your loom. We won't be attaching anything there. Just like that. Now loom up the sides. With the eye part, the eyes might twist a bit. You can adjust that later. Like that. Loom up once more on each side. We will be attaching the ears now. So grab your ears. Your ears do have a well, some sort of pointy thingy on one side and it's straight on the other side. Can you see that? I hope you can. It's quite tiny, so it, it actually doesn't matter how you attach it. But I will be attaching the pointy thingy 
to the back of its head. So to that direction. Yeah, I have it upside down on my hook, but it doesn't matter. I will attach it first and then you can see what I mean. Hope you guys can see this. This side is straight. And this has a tiny pointy thingy that has to face that way. Also do this on the opposite side. Try to attach this one onto my hook correctly now. Is it? <laughs> I will turn my loom. Yeah, it is. Also attach this ear onto that peg. So you can see this side is going straight. Here is some kind of pointy thingy. And I'll loom those last double looped bends. And this will be the top of your Uni Vega Carnassus. And the first tie off those three ends. Take this off your loom carefully because all of these bends are double looped. And make sure you adjust your eyes now. If they aren't okay or you don't like it, adjust them after you get the top of the head of your loom. It's easy to do now. It always looks so weird <laughs> getting the top of the head of the loom. Ugh. Yeah, like this. Cool. <laughs> yeah, this is way better with the horn. My prototype is back one peg. Doesn't look okay, in my opinion. This is better. So this will be the top of your Unipegocarnassus. Cool. I love the glitter. Yeah, face the ears up, of course. They are face down a bit. Face them up. Adjust it. Until you're pleased with it, and we will continue. Cool, huh? Looks sweet. Well, we continue with the middle portion of the head. So take two white bands now, place them there. And take two more bands, place them there. Also on the opposite side. If you did the donkey with me, this might look familiar because this is actually the same as my donkey. Only the top of the head is slightly different, but this will be the same. Um, take two glitter bands or if you want a stripe on your Uni Pegocarnassus, you can use your stripe color. Place two of them. And two of them there. I don't even know if I have enough glitter bands. Hmm. We will find out. And two bands there. I will turn my loom now because we need to double loop bands. Take a double looped white band. Place that there. Take another double looped white band. Place that there. And another double looped white band. There. I will be turning my design for this. Um, also do this on the opposite side. Double looped white bands. That one is stretched out. 
a double looped white band and a third double looped white band. Now we have to do the middle. This will be with a glitter, but also double looped. So double looped glitter there. A double looped glitter there. And another one there. I'll take a white band again. We have to place it diagonally like this and also on the opposite side like this. Both are double looped. Now we are going to place Horizontal bands take a double looped white band. I will turn my loom again for this. So it should look like this now. Double looped horizontal band here. White bands take a double looped white band, place it there. Take a double looped white band, place it here. Make triangles like this. Take two white bands, place it there, take two more white bands and place those there, like this. Mm. Let me see, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, cap off the bottom with a glitter band by wrapping it around four times, one, two, three, Four. Go behind it. Cap band. And grab the top two. Of well, top two. Well, the top double loop band. Loom over. Get back into that cap band. Get the next two double loop white bands. Loom over. Now grab your nostrils, you should have done them already. Place these onto your hook. Like this. Now lift up those loomed double loop bands. Obviously you have to do this on both sides. And replace that double loop band. Simply slide over the nostril. It will be kind of big, but I think that's okay. It's glittery and looks cool. Now get your other nostril. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Slide this one over. And replace that double loop band like that. And we can loom up the middle, not entirely. We have to attach the head there somewhere. I'll loom up three times. Stop there. Now loom up the sides. Um, yeah, you can loom up the sides once more and once more. Stop there. Don't continue. Don't go any further than that. Now loom up the other side and to the same height. That. Now take the top of your head. This is kind of tricky because I attached the horn. Well, I didn't attach it, and it's okay. You have to get your hook through the um, first set of loops in the middle. So not the cap band, but you have to get your hook through. But we have to attach, attach it, get your hook through upside down. Yeah, 
to get you hooked through the first set of if you pull it you can see a hole stick your hook through that like this it looks nice if you have two bands on each side of your hook so, like this but leave it onto your hook i won't be attaching it around the peg so leave it upside down like this onto your hook so the horn is here the ears are there and they're facing down if i hold my hook down simply grab those two glittery bands and pull them through the top of the head and attach it oh, why are my bands twisted i don't want that well we'll have to do i'll loom over once more now well you actually need to lift up your head you don't have to do that now because it ain't around the pack get your hook through one of the loose ends on the back of your top head and attach it to those pegs this is kind of obvious i believe if you did any other creature with me you will know what to do now. Get your hook through. Take off that tying band. So you're sure you have all of them around your hook. Oh gosh, I can't even see what I'm doing here. Again. Yeah. Do this carefully though. You don't want to lose those bands. Attach that to the pack in the middle. Obviously, you can also loom if you want to, but I will be attaching them all now. Get your hook through four of those bands. And attach those around this peg. Like that. And loom over the last set of bands. There are supposed to be two bands. Make sure you go behind all of your bands. Why is that stuck? Yeah. Like this. Now tie off those three ends. And then we'll, we will be making the bottom jaw. We already did a lot. We will be doing the body in part two. I will cut this in half because this is taking way too long already. Take this off carefully because if one band snaps, if you want to make it look pretty, you will have to do it all over again. Take her off carefully. Like this. Yeah, almost there. I hope you guys are too. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's better. The horn is in a better position now. 
obviously you can mold it, mold her face until you're pleased with it. You can push the eyes in a bit or push them outwards if you want to. You can mold the snout a bit. Obviously you don't have to. Just make her look like you want her to look. Look. This will be the top of your Unipega Cornassus head. Like this. And we will be making the bottom jaw. Yeah, cool. We will attach the mains later after she's done. After she's complete. Yeah, looks cool. Pleased with it. I made some minor adjustments. Um, let's do the bottom jaw now. So we take two white bands. It will be the same as the middle portion of the head. So these are white bands, two at a time. Now take your glitter or your stripe color. Like this. <clears throat> mm, yeah, these are also two bands at a time. Take a double looped white band there. Take a double looped white band there. And another double looped white band there. So three double looped white bands. Do the same thing on the opposite side. One there. One there. And one there. We have to do the same thing in the middle. Also double loop it with your stripe color. Mine is glitter, glitter white. Double loop them. Like this. I'll take a white band again. You have to place that diagonally. Also double looped. I have to place another one. This one is too twisted. Place one here also. And I'll cap off the bottom with a single stripe color. Mine is glitter white. Cap off four times. So wrap around the single band four times. One, two, three, four. This is exactly the same thing as we just did. Mm, the horizontal bands. Take a double loop white band. Place that there. Take another double looped white band. Place that there. Take another double looped white band. Place that there. Now take two white bands. Place them there and take two more white bands and place those there. That's all done. Um, I forgot my pink bands. Oh, no, I want my skin tone. Pink bands. We're going to make the tongue now. You only need two bands. I take a single pink band, double loop it. Um, yeah, and cap off with a single pink band by wrapping it around four times. One, two, three, four. This will be the tongue. Loom it, but you can leave it on your loom for now. You can uh, take, take it when we need it. Get it off when we need it. Like that. Mm, I guess we can loom now. Yeah, we can. So go behind the 
Captains, noem over de first two. Uh, over de first double looped white band. Get the next, noem over. Also loom over those in the middle. Let me see what we need to loom up. Two more times. One and two. Now take your tongue. Get it around your hook. I pulled it off. Stupid. Shouldn't have done that. Well, it's around my hook again now. Attach that onto the pack we just loomed up to. Is that? Yeah. Like this. And now we can loom up the middle two times again. Stop there, don't continue. We will be attaching the top of the head there. Like this. Um, we can loom up the sides now, not all the way. We also have to attach the head onto the sides. Let me see where I did draw across to attach it. Yeah, one pack further. These will be close together. Like this. Loom up the other side to the same height as we just did. Like this. Now take the top of your head. Um, I will have to check this on my prototype. Oh, let me see what pens did I use. I'm sorry. I will have to check this. Um, pull two bends through. I can't even see this. What did I do? Okay, should I do? This is the bottom jaw, and I pull two bends through. Yeah, the bend in front of the eyes. Um. Stick your hook through those two bands and the bottom two bands, like this. So you're in front of the eye now. You're not, you're not beneath the eye, but just in front of the eye. Take those two of four loops around your hook. Yeah? Leave the head onto your hook, okay? We're going to loom with the head onto my hook. Um, make sure you don't have a horizontal band around your hook though. Go behind all of those bands, uh, behind the horizontal bands, get those two. Don't loom over. Get those two white bands and slide over the head. Then loom over. Yeah? So also have to do that on the opposite side. So get your hook through the first two bends. Oh gosh. And then the bottom two bends. I got my horizontal bend in between now. This is kind of tricky. Yeah, I got them. So make sure you have four loops around your hook. Don't put this around the pack. You don't need to. Simply stick your hook. Get the bottom two bends, don't loom them over, but pull them through the top of the head. Then loom over, like this. It's kind of tricky, but you don't have to stretch out those bends any further. Uh, don't loom up. Sorry, my mistake. Don't loom up. Not yet. <laughs> we will need to attach the rest of the head. 
get your hook through, remove the tying band, attach that to this bag. Would be sweet if they aren't twisted. But then you can loom up the final set of bands like this. You also have to do this in the middle with the glitter bands or your stripe color bands. Place those around the peg in the middle. And loom those two glitter bands at the bottom, like this. And obviously, the last set, stick your hook through, make sure you have all four loops onto your hook. And touch those around this peg. And loom those. Final two bands like this. Um, yeah, I believe that's it. Yeah, I can't make more of it. No, that's it. Tie off those three ends. We also will be doing the neck after this, so we aren't done yet. Yes, tie of these ends. We will take off those tying bands soon. We will do the neck after this. So I'll take her off carefully. can squeeze her molder and make her look okay after you have taken her off your loom. Still looks kind of weird because there are no mains but you can attach those as we finished uh, finish her. The horn is all crooked but you can adjust that. So this will be the top of your horse head, adjust it, mold it until you're pleased with it and then we can continue with the neck, pull the tongue out a bit. Yeah, cool. Yeah, it looks cool though. You can always pull some bands if you're not pleased with it. You can adjust it, mold it. Well, very sparkly. Cool. Yeah. I like it. Also like the pink eyes. You can almost... Can you see the horn now? This is the top of the head without the mains. Well, let's do the neck. Hold your loom like this. Take two glitter bands, place them there, take two more, or your stripe color, what you want, take two there, and place two there, now take two white bands, place two there, two there, and two white bands there, also onto the opposite side, Two bands there. Turn my loom again. Oh, those are three. Two bands here. Two bands there. Um, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take two white bands. Make a horizontal band like that, or a tri triangle. 
take two more white bins, place those there. Now you can take the top of your head. Um, well, this seems kind of obvious. Simply place the ends you tied off to those pegs. Place the head right side up. And we will be attaching a horizontal bend there. Is that, why is that twisted? Am I the only one with these problems? It's completely twisted. How can it be? I need to attach those three ends to those three bags. And we will be attaching a horizontal band in between. So you need to take off the top two bands of all of these sets soon. I also will show that to you guys. Get you hooked through all of those loops, four loops. Get them around the peg. Now we need to take off, I will leave this on my hook, the top two bands of each set. Only the top two, leave the bottom two, leave them on your hook. Now get two white bands and simply make a horizontal band. And now we need to replace those other bands again. You might need another hook for this. I'm using a other hook to do this. So I won't lose them. Simply replace those bands. Like this, there's a tiny fly going around here flying around. Well, anyway, loom up. We'll simply loom up the entire neck of your Unipega Cornessus. It's quite simple. Simply loom up all of those loops, uh, bands, and that's it. This is just basic looming. Anyone can do this. Ooh. Yeah. Like this. Now tie off those three ends. Make a slip knot if it wants to. Simply tie off those three ends. Like this, take her off and you will have a neck. Also without mains, but we can attach them after we finish the whole project. So we don't need to attach them right now. They will be in the way if we do that now. So we will do that as last. Well, cool. Well, this will be the head with the neck of your uni pegocarnassus. If I'm saying that correct, I have no idea. But 
it's a mythical animal, so I hope I'm saying it the right way, I don't know. Cool. So it has a stripe on the bottom. You won't be able to see this on the inside. The neck will be there, but you can see it on the outside. All with a stripe. Cool. Well, this was part one of the video, so you should have your head completed. Um, your two wings mirrored, if you did them with me. Your two wings, your head. We'll be laying it down like this so you can all see what we did. Um, your two back legs. And your two front legs. Well, you should have done all of this. And in the second part of this tutorial, we will be making... Um, well, actually, we can do her belly already. No, I will wait. I will have to see how that goes. If too many glitter bands snaps uh, when stitching her back together. I use glitter bands, but they do snap quite easily, so uh, I will have to see how that goes. Um, no, we will save the belly for the next uh, part of this tutorial. Obviously, we will do the complete body and the tail. We will be doing that too. So, um, well, join me in the second part of this tutorial, and I will see you over there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this so far, and we will be making her complete in the second part of the video. So, um, see you there. Bye bye.